That muff out to the shop, so if you want out, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah, uh, we're a bit short on ale. Lisa? There were 50 quid in here last night. I had nothing to do with me, honest. I didn't think it were. What? Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you lost 50 quid, gutted. That was to feed us all. Then I'm gutted for me too. Listen, you, by the time I get back, that money better be back in that pot. Or what? Shadrach wouldn't be daft enough to take the whole lot. Most he'd live for be a tanner or somewhat. But I think I know who's taken it. What's up? Oh, hello, hello. 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 Why do I feel like my ears should be burning? <laughs> uh, 50 quid has gone missing. Oh. I don't like to throw accusations around. 50 quid, you say? Yeah, I'm sorry, that were me. You what? Well, I needed some new shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm paying it back just, just as soon as I can get Paddy to cough up this week's wages. Right. Mystery solved, then. Mm. I'll flag it, please, Diane. <clears throat> You, if I look in this pot, I'm gonna find it's still empty. How am I supposed to know? Because you're the one who emptied it. Where's the money, Aaron? I mean it, I bought you some time to hand it over. <laughs> you done what? I've told Lisa that I borrowed it. Now I've got the money to put back in there, but I won't pay him back. Oh, Mum, did you cover for me? Sweet. After you said you wouldn't. <laughs> it's big softy. This isn't funny! Kind of is from where I'm sat. You getting your knickers in a twist over 50 poxy quid? What is it with you, huh? Why is it every time I feel we're getting somewhere, you just go and dump all over it? Because it's what you expect of me! Well, innit? I give up with you. I just give up. Sorry for borrowing it. It won't happen again. It's easily done. Oh, uh, could you drop this one off for me? Yeah, of course. And pick her up. I might be late. Well, I'll do it. I wouldn't trust you to pick up your feet. I might struggle later, Lisa. Thank you, you'd be helping out. Well, I haven't agreed yet. Hey, lad wants to help. Well, we'll make the best of a bad job then, shall we? Whoa, eh? You're welcome. Oh, well done. Call me one piece and I'm not addicted to drugs. So, uh, I'll be back in the good books by now then, eh? <laughs> you wish. Even Eli's picked me up before. It's not like the fussy who does it. Yeah, but when you tell them how brilliant I was and how I fought them lads off who tried to rob your bag... Um, which lads? You smart, make it up. I'm not lying for you. I'll tell you what. Let me get the dinner on and you'll be well in. Uh, I'm a man. I don't cook. I'm a man. Don't cook. Who's asking you to? Just peel some spuds. Whoa. No, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> you call them chips? They're all right. Yeah, they'll we'll have to be. Stick them in then. Right, I won't be a sec. You can't leave the pan. Calm down, I'll be back in a minute. Don't touch anything. Hi, mate. Aaron! <gasps> what on earth is going on? What? what did I say? She is ten years old. That is a chip pan. You are a liability. Aaron, you have to watch kids. Yeah, well, I did, but my phone rang. Well, ignore it, you stupid lad. Maybe I should ignore you. I know what you all think of me, so I try to do something about it. Yeah, well, don't worry, I won't be trying again. <laughs> 